This is your class for 2018, Super Todd Gerhart, Bud Grog, Jeff Schaefer, Dave Nestor, Frank Seneca, and Forrest DeMuth, which couldn't make it tonight. We're glad and proud to have them in the hall. Thank you, fellas. And there you see the five of Al Berry's tapping on his roof. The Fremont Dog Lodge Best in Show Challenge has been accepted. By the five of Al Berry, Al will start dead last in tonight's modified field. Going for 1225 $1,225. Jordan and Wolf just continue to be almost side by side in front of him and there's just nowhere he can go. Jordan Wolf still side by side as they go into three and four. Oh, the 16 car goes around on the front straightaway. Gets it going back. Second place battle still. Gatton and Schaefer. Oh, big contact. Al Barry around. Darwin Wolf around. We got the 85 involved. And I said the five of Al Berry needed some cautions. Not cautions he would be involved in, though. Does Gatton have anything? Gatton gives him a shove. Is he going to be a bump and run in three and four? No, he goes high. Gatton going to try to use the high line. Here they come. Oh, Gatton in the wall. Checkered flag is out. Chad Poorman. And Jonathan Gatton not happy in the 89 machine. And green flag is out. The triple zero machine, Brooke Dagger, did not go. And now the triple zero car finds some power. That made a very interesting start to this race. The four of Graham Curtis, your current leader. Curtis leads Tony Barkus. Ashley Shelfont and then Jeff Barney Jr. Now Barney Jr. up into the third spot. Barney Jr. looking for second in that five machine. Oh, contact. Oh, big contact. 50 of Tony Barkus, five of Jeff Barney Jr. And Barney. Barkus made some contact. Barkus saved it and then maybe overcorrected the car. Not quite sure. Made contact with the five. And 60 jumps to the outside. Barkus stays on the inside. Tony Barkus, Chad Curtis, and Chad Curtis takes the lead. And oh, some contact there between the zero of Tom Minnick and the four of Graham Curtis. And now Graham Curtis into Tom Minnick. And now the double zero hard into the wall.
Coming to the green flag, 20 laps. Here we go for the O'Reilly Auto Parts Mini Stocks. Green flags in the air. Smith and Thompson leading for the green flag. Demlin in the 15. And Demlin, look out, a little loose. Yellow is out. It's going to be a complete restart. James Thompson, Brian Demlin, lead him to the green flag. Alan Tink. Tink tried to go three wide there into turn number one. Thompson slammed the door on that. Tink looks like he's going to get the inside this time, though. Tink continuing to look to the inside of Thompson for the race lead. Can't quite get a good enough run yet. And that time he did. Good run that time for Alan Tink. And Tink now to the race lead. Jones now will look for second. Huffman takes the fourth position. Oh, way up the track. He's off the track. Yellow flag comes out. I'm not sure what happened with the 39 of James Thompson there. Can't tell if he came to a stop or if he did make contact over there either. That car just did not turn. Tink trying to get his momentum built up. Jones might clear him and does. New leader. Andy Jones to the lead. Tink with a bump. Tink trying to do bump and run. Doesn't work. We're going to have another exciting finish. Andy Jones the leader. Alan Tink second. Can Tink get a run? Allen Tink goes high, darts low. He's trying to get momentum in the 44. White flag's in the air. That's the move Allen Tink's going to have to make. There it is, high, low. He's got the inside. Contact down the back straight away. Yellow flag is out. No checkered. No checkered flag. Yellow is out. Here comes Jeremy Wallen. Oh, look out, Tommy Cook. What a save by Cook. Cook and Blake Dagger made contact. Jeremy Wallen to the very inside. Contact with the 83. Jeremy Wallen with some contact from Joe Ackerman in the 83. Wallen tries to jump up a line, forces Cook to go up higher. It's still Vogue's out front. Here comes Fuzz. Fuzz with some contact. And now Fuzz sideways. It's getting interesting. Jeremy Wallen, the point leader for the late model division. Trying to get to the inside of Fuzz. Tommy Cook right there behind him. Tommy Cook thinking about three wide. Cook's kind of playing wait and see. Cook keeps sticking his nose to the inside of Wallen, but looks like he's going to wait until they get around Fuzz. And Cook jumps up high on the racetrack. Now might try to go to the bottom. Tony Daggers opened up a big lead in the zero. Good battle for second, though.
Tommy Cook, Jeremy Wallen working their way around lap traffic. Yellow is out. Out of three and four, the double zero, Blake Dagger already tapping out. One of Fuzz found his way around. It's the lineup for your 13 Vores Wadding and Steel Street stocks as they come to the green flag. The 15 car, Chris Runyon off the pace. Runyon way off the pace. And the four now off the pace, maybe. Six of Bryce Schaefer gets around. And we've got the two with the hood coming up a little bit. Luke Tuttle there. Jackie Terry's got to got to get going here if he wants to go catch Rick Reinhardt, and this will help. Yellow flag is out. And the ten car, Matt Morton, brings out the yellow flag. And Jackie Terry up to second. Terry trying to get to the inside of Reinhardt. Terry, Reinhardt touch. Terry the leader. Eighteen of Jackie Terry takes the lead. Reinhardt back to second. Schaefer third. Over fourth. Tuttle fifth. 